G'day everyone, uh, first I just want to start uh, with an apology if you've already seen this video. Now I had some uh, technical issues with this video, it seems that I couldn't answer questions or at least the answers weren't showing, I'm not sure why that was, it has happened before but just not to this extent and obviously I do want to answer any questions that are there. So thank you to everyone who's watched it and shown their support but I just wanted to make sure that this didn't continue along with the clarity problem of about halfway through so hopefully this is fixed um, it is a re uh, upload so I realize you guys will probably get notifications again I do apologize but I uh, just wanted to get on top of that early all right thanks guys enjoy G'day everyone welcome back to controlled recoil so uh, at the moment as you can see already out in the action put in a pretty good climb and yeah now I've really just been doing some glassing so in some fantastic country as you can see and yeah just prime habitat for chamois so that's what I'm trying to target this time around um, yeah it's really good to be back in some proper alpine country so super super pumped um, we might see some deer hopefully if we're lucky but yeah really wanting to target the chamois at the moment um, it's been a while since I've hunted the, hunted the chamois and yeah hopefully uh, get your eyes on some the goal would be anything, uh, it has to be bigger than 10 inch for me to take it, that's my goal. Um, I've got a couple of really nice ones on the wall already and yeah, not really interested in shooting uh, any below that. Obviously chamois don't breed as fast as other things and uh, numbers are dwindling in some areas. Um, some areas still have good, good numbers but yeah, not really interested in cutting down any nannies or anything like that. It has to be a buck and has to be big so that's the goal. But anyway, come along, we'll see what we can find. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that country. It's a good trudge. Don't you love this open snow tussock country? It's just amazing. So beautiful. Unfortunately, the wind's not very good, guys, so I'm not really expecting to see anything right now above me, even though there's some top, top habitat straight above me, but... The wind's been bad all morning, so I'm going to get up here and gain some height and then try and sidle into some bluffs and uh, hopefully it'll open up some fresh ground that hasn't been disturbed. That's the plan anyway. Look at some of this country. It's just stunning. Perfect habitat for chamois. Oh, some sign there. Old as, but it's always good. Any sign your old tells a story to some degree. There's a good little game trail here too. I just came over this ridge here and straight away spotted a chamois. The horns kind of look like a nanny, but I'm pretty sure it's a buck, so we're going to take a closer look. Um, pretty excited. You know, we're not too far into the into the hunt really, which is awesome, but we've certainly gained some height. But yeah, awesome to see an animal straight off. Interesting, I've only seen one at the moment, but yeah, we'll get the big camera on it and uh, do some assessment. But it's, it's reasonably close too, so yeah. We'll have a quick look, see what we're dealing with, and then uh, might try and close the gap and get some closer footage. But yeah, certainly a bit of horn there, that's for sure. It's um, maybe lacking a little bit of hooks, so we'll get it on the big camera and show you.
So when we were just looking at him then, that was 295 yards. So certainly within shootable distance, but uh, I want to assess him a bit more. It almost looked like he was a bit thin, like really poor condition. So it'd be interesting to get a bit more of a look at him and see what age he is. Um, obviously it is the tough time of year for them. Uh, but you would hope they'd start picking up condition about now. So yeah, touch and go. We'll have a closer look and yeah, we'll be a lot closer up here too. We're gonna to close the distance right up. So hopefully this works out. The wind is just going around in circles, so she's a bit risky, but um, yeah, we'll try and make something of it. So I don't know if you guys realize how close this was, but uh, I'll show you right now. So when you could see it's here, right here, my boot is at the base of that grass. <laughs> well, that was, that was awesome. Uh, there's, there's nothing like stalking in. There's just nothing that'll be as rewarding or exciting, but that was awesome. He, he's, a, he's a beautiful animal. Um, pity about the, the other hook on his on his horn, obviously being busted off, so he's probably never going to be a trophy in a lot of people's eyes, but oh, I contemplated a lot then about taking him. Um, typical, when you don't have the bow with you, <laughs> you could have shot him all day long with that, or even my spear, I could have, could have speared him there, piece of cake, but um, in all honesty, it was just an awesome experience, good to see him. Um, don't worry, I was thinking about it, the, the rounds and the gun on safe. <laughs> But uh, good to see, and certainly not, like I said at the beginning, um, he's not what I wanted. Uh, he's, uh, he's not going to meet that 10-inch that 
the other side's obviously probably never going to get that big but um no all good great to see and uh, we'll carry on and try and find something a bit bigger but um awesome experience i hope that came out you won't believe it that's my main camera right at the closest point and battery ran out so i've literally my other camera's in the back i literally pulled out my phone this is on my phone <laughs> so that gives you an idea how close it is anyway we'll carry on Oh, prickly ones, those things. Spaniard grass, it's cool. It's beautiful. Oh, steep enough, too. Unbelievable. I was just walking back out of the gully where I saw the chamois. And there are deer. Fellow. Young buck there. Didn't actually realise that there were fellow in this area, but uh, turns out there are, obviously. So I was quite surprised actually to see those fellow. I didn't actually realise fellow were in this area, so yeah, not sure if that's well known or not, but uh, pretty cool to see. Can't go that way, I'm bluffed out, guys. They were obviously just young bucks, so not really interested in taking them, but it'd be awesome to catch up with the doe if we can, because, yeah, very tasty. But uh, just sidling through this face at the moment, and uh, there's a wee bit of a knob further up. We'll get to that, and uh, can glass into some new, new country from there, so that's the plan for now. So I've just been glassing for about, I don't know, 40 minutes. Haven't, haven't come up with anything else yet. Stunning little mountain stream. I think I'm going to head up, up through here, across, and that gut there, and carry on out. We head over, over to here, and this, this ridge, and pop into the next catchment. Might fill the water bottle up too, I think. Fresh mountain water, nothing better. Look at that. Man, it just keeps going. Stunning. I think this is a good spot to sit down with the winos. Oh well, I've been glassing these faces and basins behind me here. Just stunning country, look at that. Just prime chamois country. I uh, didn't pick up anything else, but the wind is just terrible at the moment. It's going right behind me, so probably uh, pushing my luck a wee bit with that. But uh, now that I know that there's a few fellow around and I've got some height, I might actually drop down back into the wind, because uh, the wind's coming up valley. Uh, I'll drop down into the wind and see if I can score some meat, so that'd be great. So we'll lose some height and yeah, probably uh, head back to camp, I think. So it's just coming down through these guts, and they're just beautiful. And uh, just spooked a fellow coming out over here, so I'm going to try and cut it off in these bluffs. What a spot, beautiful. Ran down into here somewhere, so hopefully I'll get a shot at it. gets you that you know you're like oh yep there's gonna be something here and then just as you think it boom you spook one that's all right the wind's wind's playing tricks on us at the moment so it was bound to happen but it was good to see i think that was the that was the doe that one so i'm gonna try and catch up with it it's probably hutted up or gone straight down this creek but we'll do our best well you can definitely see why the deer are in here man there's some feed Really nice game trail leading out over there, so that's what I'll be following. And that'll hopefully lead me round onto some terraces with a bit of scrub on them and we might be able to bump into some more. Oh well, that's probably me for now. Um, might get something, but pretty unlikely, so I'll sign it off here. But yeah, almost had that fellow. I should have had the trigger cam on because what did it? I was trying to set the camera up to get the shot 
and it was gone so yeah <laughs> but unfortunate wish to it would have been nice to get the meat but no that's all good i was uh yeah what a cracking day seeing that chamois what an experience uh yeah sorry there wasn't any shooting shooting action in this one but um i would have certainly liked that as well <laughs> but that's all good we'll uh yeah thanks for tuning in and we'll, we'll catch you on the next one cheers